Welcome to Introduction to Hacking, where to begin. This is an introduction to what hacking is and how to get started. First of all, let's get all misconceptions out of the way. You will not be a hacker in a few days or even weeks. It takes years to learn how to do lots of different stuff. Hacking is a lifestyle. We hack to learn and explore. While hackers have a bad stigma associated with them, it's purely because the majority of people are afraid of the things that they do not understand. The media takes a few hackers who have found themselves in tight spots just from exploring or stumbling upon things they shouldn't and pull them into the bad guy group. So disclaimer, hacking is a skill set. Many jobs in the IT field love people with this skill set. The skill set can be used for good and it can be used for bad. If you're here because you just want to learn how to access someone's Facebook for a laugh, I encourage you to reconsider. Not only is accessing someone's information online a crime, it encompasses multiple crimes. So to cover me, I am not responsible for how you use anything you learn. Also, it should be noted, internet traffic is highly monitored, so be careful where you tread. On to the meaty stuff. Welcome! If you're asking where do I start, well you've already taken the first step already. Remember, hacking is to learn and explore. Seeking help and information is a critical part of learning, so I encourage any questions and I will try my best to answer them all. Skills that are incredibly important to know for a computer hacker are Networking, so how packets traverse a network, wireless and wired, what protocols are and how they work, routing, proxies, there's also programming, so writing your own tools and program is a great way to learn how things work, how a program runs in a computer's memory, the stack and the heap, there's web technologies such as PHP, JavaScript and cross-site scripting, there's also the all-important command line. And there's much, much more, but the list goes on forever. It's never too late to start learning. If you find out it's too hard or it's not for you after a few days or a week or so, no harm done. I'm sure you learnt something. Also, if you want to really grasp the power of computers, use Linux. If you have never used Linux before and not very confident with the command line, get Ubuntu. It's easy to use and gives you way more power than a Windows or Mac machine. However, if you are experienced with command line and Linux systems, Get Kali Linux. It comes with all sorts of pen testing software. Python has the nickname Hacker's Language because it's quick to use, efficient, and endless amount of third party modules, and it comes on most Linux and OS X operating systems. I have a Python beginner tutorial on my channel, so you can learn that here or you can go to a Python site. For all of this, I will be using Ubuntu. I'll also be uploading a Hacker's hacking series with Python so subscribe if you want to learn some cool stuff with me as well as many other tutorials and content all tutorials will be completed before uploading so don't fear of a half complete tutorial in the description of the, this video I have put a list of useful resources for learning specific to hacking and programming the first is a hacking community called hackthissite.org that I definitely suggest being a part of the site contains all levels of challenges for explo exploiting as well as a plethora of useful information, as well as a great forum. Do not ask for help with the legal activities nor s ask someone to perform such activities. The second is Python. I suggest learning Python if you haven't already. It's free and the website has a full tutorial. The third is C++, a compiled programming language. This language is incredibly powerful and the website also has a full tutorial as well. The fourth is Ubuntu. Use this if you plan to take this seriously. You can also run Linux off a live CD or a USB if you don't want to install anything. The fifth is Kali Linux. If you are new to Linux or command line, don't download this. It will make your learning slower. And the sixth is Security Tube. There is lots of great videos there as well as some great tutorials. Thanks for watching.